And now to a story that will challenge the existing aviation laws in Kenya. It is about one man who has made a small aircraft that can fly up to the clouds without a pilot on board. Chris Galilee, who has been studying in China, says he has developed the gadget together with his classmates. The law requires that any object flying into the airspace of Kenya must be licensed, but at the moment there is no aviation law to regulate unmanned vehicles. So what next for the innovative Kenyan? Well, Katyn's Edith Kimani reports on the gadget that might force Kenya to rethink its aviation laws. Look up! It's a bird. It's a plane. Well, it's not Superman, but it is a super gadget. This is the Phantom, a brand in the growing market of UAVs or unmanned air vehicles, a technology that has now made its way to Kenya. I'll stop the, the photo. Behind the controls and owner of the device is Chris Galilee, who mans it with unmatched ease. But don't be fooled. It takes at least half an hour to prepare for this flight. Yes, flight. And this is where we start. In my studio. <laughs> We check in at this house in Umoja where the 26-year-old aeronautical engineer takes us through his improvised cockpit. It isn't long before Chris brings out the Phantom, the impressive technology weighing only as much as two loaves of bread. The Phantom is classified as a remote-controlled quadcopter, very simply, a flying device similar to the helicopters, but with a lift and thrust from four propellers rather than just one. A clever feature on this UAV is its camera. It's a sports camera capable of filming. It's a 11 megapixels with a wide coverage of 140 degrees maximum to the list of uh, 90 degrees. So today we are going to film at a range of a uh, width of uh, 140 degrees. Chris gets into more technical details in very technical language, but he is in his element, so I do not stop him. Chris has extensively studied and even made a few UAVs himself. The next step, he says, is to commercialize them. Yeah, my main purpose of purchasing this was to do business with it and to commercialize it for recording parties, aerial recording of parties and photography of weddings. Uh, we can do the wild, we can view the wild from above, the poachers, we can monitor poachers. But before I can buy into it, I ask for a demonstration. And so we prepare for takeoff. We shows it has captured all the satellites we need. So it's ready to fly. No. The Phantom goes out of sight. It can go as high as 938 feet. And the video footage captured on the camera is simply breathtaking. years have seen an increase in popularity in UAV technology, particularly in the industrialized world. But as this technology comes into Africa, now we are seeing into Kenya, the question is, are we prepared for it? The answer to this may be no. Actually, like I'd approached the KCA, Kenya Civil Aviation Authority, and we sat down. I told them what I have. I didn't show them, but I showed them the, 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 the products, the materials I've so far recorded. And after they viewed it, they thought about it, but they say it's not covered in our aviation regulations yet. The Opejeta Conservancy in Laikipia is reported to be already using the technology for wildlife surveillance. And as the number of users increases, concerns of interference with manned aircrafts and even competence of those handling the technology will need to be addressed. It is obvious to anyone watching that Chris really enjoys flying the Phantom, saying that the only place for this super technology is at the top. 
Edith Kimani, KTN Prime.